Hi, baby. <laughs> Hi, baby. What you doing? I am finishing breakfast and looking at um, burger joints for us to go to after we work on the bus today. Cool. <laughs> Some 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 greasy dive, some mm -hmm. some junk food. Some place with some like chili cheese tots and burgers and stuff. <laughs> That's so bad for you. I know. But we so deserve good. it. <laughs> See what's behind them. And then we got to finish. Last week, Patrick like took a crowbar and just busted through the seats of the back seat. They're the only seats that are left in the bus. We bought it. All the seats were gone except for these three. And so we were trying to figure out how to get them out. And um, it's not as easy as it sort of looked at first. So Patrick just took this crowbar and was able to uh, get the seat portion of it, um, of, of each of them to break off. But we still have to get like the backs off and the, the like base part of it off. And um, we bought some new tools that I think will be helpful. We're buying so many tools. It's a little overwhelming. So, okay, um, I was recording something earlier that I don't think had audio, so I'm going to go back and record it again because I want you to see what our goals are for the day. Okay, so, what I'm going to be working on inside today um, is these purple walls. We, um, we discovered that they're held together by these, let's see if I can get close enough to show you. Um, these, uh, I guess, I can't remember what they're called, like star uh, screws. And so we didn't have the right, um, we didn't have the right screwdrivers for them before. We just got a bunch of new stuff that hopefully will work. And we also got um, some uh, things to drive through the rivets because a lot of these are, I think, have rivets that are going through them. So the goal is to try to get these walls taken off so we can see what's underneath. And we need them to be gone anyway because we're gonna be, you know, insulating and building new walls here. Um, the other goal for today is to get some more of this insulation off. You can see that in the middle, all the insulation is gone. And on the outer sides, the insulation is gone. And the last goal um, is to finish getting these seats out. Patrick was able to use a crowbar to just basically like break the bottoms of them out. But you can see that there's still like all this hardware and stuff that we got to figure out and the backs of them. So lots of demo to do today. And who knows, maybe we will demo some bathroom. It seems like every time we come out, we do some random things that we weren't expecting to do. And uh, so we'll see how that goes. And um, hopefully we will be productive. It feels good when we get a lot of things done. So right now we just got here. We're just getting set up. And Patrick's putting the table. We have this like card table that we're gonna use to uh, just kind of get all of our tools together and stuff. So. We also have like a new plan for our bay doors. Excuse me. Um, we have a new plan for our bay doors that will have them function very similar to the way that they already do. But we're going to replace this 
strut on each door and possibly this one, we're not sure, with an actuator. I think it's called a linear actuator. That will do similar work, but it'll do it automatically. So we can like push a button, um, maybe even from our phones, and the, the bus doors will open. We're also going to get rid of um, this piece that helps hold the bus up, or the door up, up because these are all causing us problems. <laughs> and um, instead we're gonna be using magnets, maybe maglocks. Um, and so we'll install those like on the underneath side. And yeah, so the lock with the maglocks and then we can um, use these linear actuators that we're gonna be putting in. So we'll see how that goes. That's a longer term project that we're not gonna be working on today, but we have big plans. So we had to use like three different types of tools, but basically, Patrick, explain what you did. Uh, well, I tried a number of different ways to get this out. I tried uh, the, uh, the sawzall. I tried so, the sawzall. I tried the multi-tool multi -tool. oscillating tool, which I don't think might have worked, but didn't have the right blade. And then the. Um, but this is the first thing I did. I took a car. We have brand new carbide tip, carbide uh, drill bits. Yeah. Uh, we bought specifically for drilling out rivets and bolts and screws. They're super strong. Yeah. And uh, then so I started. Also used. I tried the grinder, grinder. <laughs> which which did didn't do a bad job, but it, it's so tight and I couldn't get in. I tried to get this one out, wouldn't do it. But I just went into. Let me find one. This bolt right here. Mm -hmm. This is what was here, and what's there? Yeah. Which was also here. Yeah. And here. And you were able to cut Dr through them. Uh, well, I drilled in. I took the drill and I drilled down into right here, the head of it. The head of it until it was weak enough okay. that I could take a crowbar, which is sitting right there. <laughs> crowbar. So really, there's like five tools. Well, I think that the drill and the crowbar are all you need because I was I've okay. never done this before. We so were experimenting. Trying. So the crow, the drill got down, weakened it head, then I got the crowbar and it popped, popped them right off. Cool. So one seat down, two seats to go. Let's put this up here. <laughs> Excellent. Pump you all. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Well. Yeah, but now we 
we're going to take off the, uh, <laughs> the seat belt. <laughs> Those might be too small, but if we do have box cutters. Ah, they're working. <laughs> Why the hell did that seat belt go there? Charging the batteries. <laughs> I want to know. I want to know what it's gonna look like. Hi, baby. Hi. <laughs> I'm just like all of our tools are dead because we failed to uh, charge the batteries. Yeah. So I'm using this ratchet to just like unscrew a bunch of things. <laughs> Show them the ratchet though. Oh yeah, this is a really cool ratchet. The head looks like this, and so it's a universal ratchet. Like you don't have to put on new. I've never seen one of those. Yeah. It's so cool. You heads all the time, so right. yeah. I've also started doing a, uh, uh, a layout on SketchUp. So I've traced out the entire profile of the bus. And it's got an angle. These angle up. These come up at an angle, yeah. which is a weird sort of system, but it looks really pretty on the outside. Here, I'll show you. And we're going to cut through the middle wall. So you can see the, the windows are angled. And it was a trick to figure out what exactly that angle was, but we just measured the uh, the windows width uh, underneath the windows and then at the top. And sort of figured it out from there. It's not perfect, but it's all we need for the, uh, the layout design that we're doing on SketchUp. And I'm pretty pleased with that. But it's pretty, the angles are pretty, and I don't want to screw them up. So, it is a pretty bus. I'll go outside and charge that one. <laughs> this is fun. <laughs> <laughs>